chances are you've got a classical guitar lying around. If not, please check your basement or attic, it's probably over there. Often seen as a starter guitar, but there lies a whole range of beautiful songs beneath those nylon strings. So maybe it's time to pick it up again and try one or more of these songs. And of course, if you can't find one, you can play any of these songs on any guitar you like. Tabs for all the songs I'm playing are available on my Patreon page. We kick off this list with the song Shape of My Heart. The guitar part is written by guitarist Dominic Miller. Probably all of you know it as a sting song. This song features quite difficult chord shapes, but they sure are beautiful voicings. Here it is. The next one is Bure in E minor by Bach. Sometimes it's good to play songs or styles you normally not play. They can really shape you as a guitar player and you can always take something from it and put it into your own playing. For this example it's the fast chord changes and it can really help you develop your technique of your left hand. Number three, Is There Anybody Out There? by Pink Floyd. A wonderful dark and cinematic song from the album The Wall. It's unclear who actually played this part on the record because Gilmore wasn't satisfied with his own fingerstyle playing. Number four, of course, Tears in Heaven by Eric Clapton. A great lesson in compound or slash chords, where you use different bass notes or inversions of a chord. This can result in a more interesting sound or a smoother transition between two chords, as you can beautifully hear in this song. Soul Sister, this song. It's not a classical guitar, but hey, it comes pretty close with those nylon strings.
Number six, Ode to Joy, a fingerstyle arrangement of the last movement of the Ninth Symphony by Beethoven. Don't let the seemingly easy melody fool you. It's actually pretty fun to play on a guitar. Number seven, Mediterranean Sundance, originally a song by El Di Miola, a guitar duo with Paco de Lucia. You can definitely hear the flamenco influences he brings. Number eight, a real classic and very easy on the guitar, Ain't No Sunshine. To make it a little more interesting, I added some notes to it, but if you're just a beginner, feel free to leave them out. Next two songs use alternate tunings. Number nine is Heartbeats by Jose Gonzalez. D, A, D, F sharp, B, E, with a capo on fret number one. This song originally written by The Knife, but performed beautifully on the classical guitar for this version. We conclude this list with the song Keep Your Head Up by Ben Howard, tuned in E A D G A D. So just tune your second string to your fifth, and tune your first string to your fourth. Done. That's it. I hope this video wipes a little bit of that dusty image of the classical guitar away. They can be real fun. Keep in mind that everything you learn and play makes you evolve as a guitar player. And taking just a little bit out of every guitar player and different styles is definitely a good way of getting out of that bubble. Have fun and keep on playing. Have a nice day. Bye.